I think we're uh, ready to uh, start. Okay. Well, I, mean, I was just curious about one thing I saw on your Wikipedia that you were studying in the past, uh, electronics and telecommunication. Okay, yeah. Does that still, uh, yeah, do you still use that information from your studies today sometimes? Uh, the electronics part, yeah. In what way? I'm not sure what the telecommunications <laughs> part was, actually. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I can wire my own house, electricity, and just... Uh, figure out how things are work, uh, fix things myself when they're broken and stuff. But uh, the reason I did that course was because in those days it was, um, even though I loved music, it was like, well, you can't really have a career with that. So what's the closest I could do? Oh, work in a studio. And nowadays you have engineering courses for actually recording studios. But uh, then it was, this is the closest you could get. With this background, maybe you could get into a, a recording studio. Have you experimented with uh, building your own equipment? Uh, no, never, part? not that kind of stuff, no, no. And Built an amplifier once, but uh, um, you don't use it anymore. <laughs> no, it was uh, just a little, little tiny thing. But uh, no, never got that far into it. No. Is for you then what you mentioned that working in a studio as an engineer or a producer is that something that you came close to at some point, or was it you drifted away as, as long as when you started producing? I only did one year of university because uh, I, I just had the bug. This is music and. Um, things happen pretty fast, so you know we had our record deal pretty soon, and uh, that was. I realized suddenly it was possible to be a musician, mm -hmm. and I didn't have to work in the studio. How is it now for you when you are in a studio recording for yourself? Do you pay attention to what the other half of, of the producer? Absolutely, are yeah, yeah. I mean, I stand back. I know what's going on, and uh, but I don't. Uh, I don't involve myself in necessarily leaning over the shoulder and given instructions or anything, but uh, yeah, I follow it, yeah. What, what part of, of what they do does interest you? Um, uh, what they can hear that I don't necessarily hear, like really, really understanding sound and um, that's pretty amazing. Is I, don't def I definitely don't go that deep into it because like, uh, like you can't, if you go that far into it then I'm going to lose this other, you know, element of you know, emotion or whatever uh, moments, little moments that happen. That's more of my concentration on it. So that fascinates me because I know I'll never uh, be able to achieve that level of excellence. Is, did you at some point got on, on that line where you maybe got too much into it that you start losing maybe the attention for the writing and the creative process of it? Um, not really the studio part of it as such, but. I think it, it, as a band we went through a period of where it was more important to have maybe this kind of gear, we could do this with it or we could do that with it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even talking about like computers and having the recording studio right there on your laptop. It was just like guitar amps and <clears throat> pedals and all that kind of stuff. We could do this, we can do that and suddenly realized we're not actually writing any songs, we're just messing around, you know. So The potential danger for a lot of people, I think. <laughs> well, yeah. It feels like work, but it really isn't. Yeah, um, yeah I was just wondering, The Ethic Faith uh, came out in 2005. Yeah. When you look back at it now, what did it or maybe did not do for you, the, the record? What kind of memories do you have it or how do you look on it now? The, the, the actual album and the, the, mm -hmm. the sounds and the songs, you mean that, that kind yeah. of? Um, um, I think it's a really good record, it's really good songs on it. Um, yeah, there's nothing that I, I, I think is a, I mean no record is a perfect record, but I, I don't, uh, it's, it's, it's a step along the way, it was not a detour or something, it's definitely a different sound from uh, other records that we made, but really the main reason is because we had a budget, you know, to make the record and I wanted to take advantage of that, you know.